truncate. What is truncate command? Here, if you make delete operation, then the records will be deleted temporarily. Means, in the same session, login session, the deleted data can be rollbacked. Means, you can restore the deleted data into the table. How it is? That is done by using TCL command rollback. Remember this. You can cancel the delete operation, update operation, insert operation in the current session by using rollback. Before executing commit command, you need to apply rollback. Once the action, one action is committed, then you cannot roll back that action. Remember that. Truncate. What is truncate? Yeah. See here, let me explain you one sample scenario. Let us consider a banking domain. In that bank, they are maintaining customer details table. In the customer details table, up to yesterday, they are having 100 customers. Today, two new customers are joined or they have opened the account in a bank. So, two new records for the customer details, that records will be entered into the table. Right. Totally, you are having one or two records in customer details table. Okay. So, five customers are cancel their accounts then five records you are deleting from the customer details table in this case what is happening is at the end of my banking business day i want to find out who are the new customers for today and who are the customers cancel their accounts once the deleted information you can't see in the table and once you are inserting the data into the table you are unable to identify so and so customer is open his account this day you are unable to identify like that this by using triggers they can maintain audit information of the tables audit information what is auditing if any new data is coming into the table before coming into the table i can maintain that new data in a separate table inserting table next if any data is going to be changed that only changed data i can maintain in separate table Already you are having original data in the original table, but separately I can maintain subtables on this original table. Inserted data I can maintain in inserted table. Updated data I can maintain in updated table. Deleted data before delete operation I can maintain the deleted data in deleting table. So you have three subtables based on customer details table. Okay, in the back end, corresponding trigger programs will be executed. The trigger responsibility is before making delete operation on the table, the affecting data copy will be maintained under deleted table. In the same way, before going to update the data within the table, the old data will be maintained under update table. Okay, once the business day is over, the business people can collect the information from three sub tables like who are the new customers yes they will get from inserting table who are the affected customers yes you will get from update table well, who are the uh, customers cancel their accounts you will get the data from deleted table once they have collected all the statistics then i don't need the data for the next business day in that case before going to next business day before starting up the next transactions next business day transactions they can apply truncate operation on those sub tables what is happening if the apply truncate table once i have collected the statistics on the sub tables based on sub tables i don't need the old information i need only the information for the next business day so next business data only i want to maintain in the sub tables so before going to next business day they can apply truncate operation truncate is permanently deleting the data from the tables truncate table you need to specify table name once the data is truncated from the table you cannot get back that deleted data like uh, truncate table table is the keyword you have to use and the table name let us see emp audit that is maintaining insert operation audit emp audit insert means it maintains new customers for the business day 
once the business day is over i am going to truncate the table means you are deleting that data in the next business day it will maintain only current business day new customers information yeah and truncate command cannot accept where class you can't apply where conditions by using truncate class and even by applying rollback this rollback cannot be worked in once you applied truncate operation remember this point this is what about insert update delete and truncate so these are the dml commands now coming to the part of ddl commands what are ddl commands ddl commands data definition language commands the commands are create alter drop already we have discussed about create command this was already discussed while creating the table while creating user accounts what is create command used to create it any database object don't go for don't use or don't try to say like creating only tables no you can create any database object by using create command yeah so then it will create a table structure let us assume customer details table is created you have customer id customer name and city of the customer okay initially i have maintained number type data so here where care uh, two of 20 data here also something where care two of 20 it's a data type and size of each column this is the old table structure already you are having two records a b city texas and new jersey these are the cities of two customers okay fine what is the use of alter command you have created the table and you have applied insert operation the data is successfully inserted into the table then what is meant by alter command alter command used to change the structure of the table in future after some time already i have the customer details after some time i want to maintain the customer's mobile numbers how do i maintain in this table in this table it is not possible to maintain customer numbers so here i need to maintain a new column that is called as mobile number column and in this column i can maintain mobile numbers for each customer after some time i want to maintain gender of the customer so add one more column after some time i want to maintain mail id of the customer yes add one more column you can add any number of columns to the table until it reaches thousand number of columns and see here whenever you are adding a column can i add a column in the middle of the existing columns like i want to add mobile number column in the before of the table i want to add gender column in between c name and city it's impossible remember this point whenever you are adding the columns the columns are going to be added at the end of the table structure only you cannot add the columns in the middle of the columns or at the beginning of the table okay how can i add a column what is the syntax yeah this is the example i am writing not syntax example i am writing let us see alter table what is the table customer details add how can i add a column mobile number yes mobile number i am using number of uh, 10 then a new column will be added only empty column so here if you have 200 number of customer details then 200 number of entries in mobile number column by default null how can i enter your mobile number for the first customer can i use insert command no don't use insert command you have to use update already you have null values at the null place you have to use update command yeah and next one 
what is the use of alter command alter command is helpful for three things one is by using alter command i can add the columns i can change the column data type and size and i can delete the columns by using the keyword drop columns here we have three keywords or associated with alter command alter table with add keyword we can add the columns alter table with modify keyword we can change the data type of the column and size of the column and see how can i delete the existing column yes by using alter table we have to use keyword drop column see here alter table uh, let us say emp i want to change the column data type modify so initially the gender column is having care i want to change it as var care 2 of 20 initially it is having care of just care means only one character length care data type but here i am changing it as var care 2 of 20 means you can enter a value maximum 20 character length yeah and then go for how can i apply drop command drop column after some time, I don't want to maintain city column. How can I delete the column itself? I am not deleting the values inside the column. I am deleting entire column from the table. How can I delete it? Yeah. Alter. Table. The table name. Customer details. Drop. Column. You have to use this keyword. Drop column. What is the column name you are going to drop? city column from customer details city column will be dropped deleted from the structure so the data in the column and the column itself will be deleted from the structure this is what we are going to apply alter command by using alter we have additional things are there let me write that things just a moment yeah here i am specifying the additional things we can add a constraint we can enable a constraint we can disable a constraint and we can drop a constraint you can delete a constraint on a table and we can enable and disable the constraints and we can also add new constraints on the table by using same alter command alter command is very very important if you want to make any changes to the existing objects then we have to use alter command next command is drop command what is drop let us see drop it is used to delete any database object not only table you can delete the user account table view index procedure trigger package anything can be deleted from the database by using drop command how it is the syntax is drop specify the object type keyword here object type and specify object name whatever the name you have specified this is predefined keyword this is user defined name predefined keyword and user defined name this is a command suppose if you want to drop or delete any user account drop user pv pv will be deleted next if you want to delete any table drop table customer details the customer details table will be dropped means deleted from the database and one more important point is once you unfortunately if you have deleted the table customer details how should i get back the data or how should i get back deleted table if i am making drop operation is it permanently deleting the object or can i restore the deleted table yes you can restore the deleted table whenever you are applying the drop command on a table the table will be placed yeah drop table you are deleting the customer details table will be available from the predefined system defined table recycle bin 
from recycle bin you can get back how can i get back by using the command flashback okay if you want to delete it permanently here it is permanent deletion how should i delete it permanently that is done by using the command purge so once you make delete operation at your sql prompt then from the database the table will be moved into recycle bin system table so from the recycle bin if you want to restore then use the command flashback if you want to delete it permanently use the command patch that's it about ddl commands we have in this session totally we have discussed dml commands and ddl commands in the next session we are going to discuss about dcl commands data control language commands and transaction control language commands that's all for this session and have a look in the screen about these commands okay yeah hi just now what we have discussed on the board here i have specified each and every syntax for dml commands and as well as ddl commands already we did with insert command in the previous session so i have specified the syntaxes for update delete and truncate commands you can go through with this sim and i have uh, specified the ddl commands alter and drop syntaxes are also here you can go through with those syntaxes and sample examples so here here first i have introduced update command and just now we have seen by default update will delete uh, sorry update will updates all values in a column so if you specify condition optionally you can also use condition then only condition satisfied records will be updated how can i update multiple columns here is the example you can go through with this and this is about the delete operation to delete the records from the table conditionally and unconditionally and truncate command is also there so truncate is permanently deleting any table data so you can't roll back it and we will discuss about roll back command in our next session tcl commands and dcl commands the ddl commands or create alter drop so already we have done with create command how to create a table how to create a user account and now just now we have discussed about alter command so it is used to change the structure of the table so how can i change the structure if you can add a new column to the table it can be changed and if you can add it or if you can uh, deleting any table any column then that can be done by using drop column keyword and if you want to change the data type then use the keyword modify and i have specified each and every syntax and example simply go through with that yeah how can i delete a table how do i delete a table just a moment how do i delete any table yeah the data and structure will be deleted by applying drop command yeah what is the command is drop so here the data and structure both will be deleted for this command execution both will be deleted yeah what is the example for this is if you want to drop the table customer details drop table customer details if you want to delete any other table like drop table transaction details yes you can drop it the data from the table will be deleted as well as the structure of the table is also to be deleted the deleted tables information you will get from recycle bin yeah recycle bin from this table you can restore the deleted data or if you want to delete them permanently you have to use the command flashback and if you want to get back uh, if you want to delete uh, the permanently from the table recycle bin then use purge yeah that's all for this session